Hi, I'm Jane Rideout. This is my husband, Gary Rideout, and we are co-senior pastors at St. Andrews. This past Sunday, we began a new sermon series called Marriage and Other Difficult Relationships. And so we thought maybe we would send you um, just a little, tell you a story about one conflict we had early on in our marriage. It's not to say that we don't still have conflicts. We certainly do. But this is one that we're going to share in how we found resolution. Gary's going to start. Well, this is something that was uh, very trivial. It just irritated me. We don't share anything too personal at first. And I realized by saying this, I'm making myself out to be an insensitive jerk. And I was at that time. But uh, early on in our marriage, I would come home and Jane would immediately say, are you hungry? And believe it or not, sometimes I wasn't. And I would just say, no, I'm not hungry. He says, oh, we've got some food. Look, we, you know, we've got, I've got some leftover spaghetti and uh, chicken pot pie. I said, no, Jane, I'm not hungry. And then she started pulling stuff out of the refrigerator and showing it to me. And I said, Jane, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. And so it, 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 this would sometimes continue on. We would, I'd come home and do the same thing. I go, oh, here we go again. She's going to start pulling stuff out of the refrigerator. And one day I just had a really bad day. And I just went, what do you think? I'm lying to you? And I knew, could tell as soon as I said that I, I heard it. What I didn't really um, share with Gary at the time was that I was hurt and I was confused. When I was growing up, um, our expression of love was to offer people food and the appropriate thing was to always refuse it at first. And then you offer again and someone refuses and usually by the third time they accept it and then everybody ate and everyone was happy. It was um, a cultural thing that was not practiced in Gary's home. And I didn't understand that. Um, and instead of maybe sharing with Gary how I felt or why we did it, I just held a lot of resentment there and I, and I felt angry with him. And that became a hard point of the day because I felt it was my job to offer him food, um, yet he wasn't receiving it, so. And it, it, it changed when I actually went to Michigan to visit her family. And I noticed that her mother did the exact same thing and I realized oh, this is their love language, to, to offer food, to share food. And then I realized if I'm gonna make this relationship a priority, I'm gonna to have to learn how to accept this and not be irritated by this. And and to to just not change her and say, hey, we, we just quite stop doing that, that's irritating to me. And just learn to accept it. And just to go along with the dance and every once in a while I would say, yeah, you know what? I think I am hungry. What we eventually did is had a long conversation and we really tried to listen carefully to each other and understand the other person's perspective. Those conversations weren't easy. Um, but eventually, I think we began to understand that neither of us wanted to hurt each other. We were just kind of living out the, the way we had been raised. Uh, I, we share this today because marriage is hard and there's always struggles. And we don't always talk about that, but we want you to be aware that um, those things can be worked through. And then we all can work towards a marriage that is really open where you can talk about absolutely anything. We encourage you to join us this coming Sunday as we continue the series. We're gonna, uh, we're, we'll be talking about learning how to hear and we're gonna talk about um, communication styles and how to work with each other. I hope you'll join us. Hope to see you there.